Hi, welcome to MEAP20S videos. Uh, this is part two of five for outcome M4, which deals with trigonometry. Uh, in this video, we're going to look at uh, part of chapter 2.1 and 2.4. We're just going to be looking at the finding an angle portion. So I'm going to do a few examples and then I'm going to give you a couple of examples that you can try. Uh, so let's have a look at uh, the first part where we're naming uh, the sides of a triangle. Okay, so before getting into finding an angle, I just want to take a few seconds and remind you about Soka Toa and labeling your triangle accordingly. Okay, so we always, uh, we've, we've got our triangle here. It's a right angle triangle. We can see because we have that square there. That means it's a 90 degree angle. And then we have theta here, which is just, uh, that just means that this is the angle I currently care about. Theta is just a Greek letter that we use to represent angles. Now, how do we label the triangle accordingly? Now what we want to do is we want to label the triangle uh, according to this theta we have right here. So if we look at the side that's opposite to that theta, this is going to be our opposite side. So I'm going to label that opposite. Okay, so this whole side, that's my opposite side. All right, now next we have our side that is the longest side of the triangle. Okay, so where do we find the longest side of the triangle? The longest side of the triangle is always opposite to the right angle. Okay, so this side right here, all along here, that's my hypotenuse. Okay, and then thirdly, we have our, I'm going to do it in yellow, uh, we have this side left over, right? Okay, this side is the adjacent side. Okay, and it's basically, it's beside the angle. So the way I like to look at it, it's the angle that's, or sorry, it's the side that has the angle that we care about and it the uh, square of our triangle. Okay, so that's your opposite hypotenuse adjacent. Now, how does Sokatoa roll into this? Well, uh, this is the ratio sine here. Sine, that means sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. And we use sine when we have the opposite and the hypotenuse, okay? And then we use cos when we have the adjacent and the hypotenuse, okay? And thirdly, we use the tangent, toa, when we have the, can you guess? That's right, the opposite and the adjacent, okay? So there's the reasoning behind um, which trig we'll have a look at that in more detail. You can watch the So Katoa video on that if you want a little more. Okay, so in this one, we're going to look at finding an angle. So I'm going to put some information onto this, and then we can choose the correct ratio to find the angle in question. All right, so let's have a look at the white triangle first. Uh, we've got two sides that are labeled and our angle labeled right here. Okay, so this is the angle that we care about and we want to find the value of this angle right here. Okay, so we've got these two sides right here and right here. So what are those called? Well, if you notice uh, from uh, right here, we've got, this is our angle that we care about. Now look across opposite to that. So then this side, my friends, is our opposite side, okay? So this value of seven belongs to opposite. Now, if we look 
uh, over here, well, we know that this is going to be our hypotenuse. Do I care about the hypotenuse? Not really, not at all. So what's the other side that I have? Well, this side here is the adjacent side. So, um, sorry, adjacent side. Okay, so now I need to choose the trig ratio that has opposite and adjacent. So take a second. Do you remember which one that is? Okay, so that's going to be tan. Tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. Okay, and I'm just going to rewrite that tan theta is what I'm looking for equals, and so I'm going to fill in the numbers, so 7 over 12. Okay, so I've gotten to this point. This is the ratio uh, that belongs to this angle right here. Okay, uh, I need to figure out what the actual value of that angle is. So how do I isolate theta? How do I get theta? Well, theta equals, now if you notice on your calculator, if you grab your scientific calculator, you're going to notice that there's going to be a tan inverse one. You can find the sine, cos, and tan buttons, but there's a, there's, there's one that's just above. You probably access it by a second function or a shift or something like that. So what I want you to do is I want you to figure out how you actually use your calculator and then see if you can get the same number as I do. So on my calculator, I have to type in second uh, tan bracket 7 over 12 close bracket. And then I actually get the value of uh, 30.256. And I'm just going to round that up to 30.3 degrees. Okay, so take a second and, and make sure that you get that before moving on to the next example. All right, so if we look at this uh, next example here, the yellow triangle, um, let's label it. Let's show that this side, right, this angle right here is our 90 degree angle. All right, and I'm going to say that we are looking for this angle right here, so we'll call that theta. Uh, this side is 15, okay, and this side right here is 6. All right, so now we need to decide which ratio to use. So which ratio are we going to use for this? We want to relabel things or just label our, our, our the sides of our triangle. This is our opposite opposite side because it's opposite to that. Um, it's not really needed here. It doesn't give us inf any information. This side right here is our hypotenuse. Okay, and then that means that this is our adjacent side here. Okay, so the two sides that I care about or that are important to me are the, op the uh, adjacent and the hypotenuse rather. So which trig ratio am I going to use? Well, I am going to use cos theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay, now fill in the numbers that we know. Cos theta equals, uh, let's see, 6 over 15. And you're going to do the same thing as we did in the example just right next door to us. So in order to isolate theta, we need to use our second function, cos. So cos inverse 6 over 15. And that gives us an angle of 66.4 degrees. Okay. All right, so here are three triangles. And what I want you to do is I want you to press pause and figure out what the theta is in each of the three cases, okay? So press pause now because I'm going to show you the answers in uh, a couple of seconds. All right, so there's your first triangle. We've got the
next one coming up in a second. Okay, so there you have it, folks, uh, the yellow triangle. This angle theta right here worked out to be 48.2 degrees. And you can see that we used the adjacent and the hypotenuse side, which forced us to use cos theta. All right, and now on for the red triangle. So hopefully you're getting the hang of this. This red triangle, this theta right here, uh, works out to be 50.2 degrees, and that's because we ended up using our opposite and adjacent side, which forced us to use tan theta. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope it's cleared up a few things. Um, enjoy working on the exercises. Take care.